Welcome to another Space Station 13 tutorial. This series we're going to focus on TG Station and TG Codebase. For those of you that like playing on TG or other servers that use the TG Codebase, this will be very helpful for you. In my opinion, TG Codebase, every single job and system is funner and more engaging than other code bases, we'll just say. And you will see in this series that your favorite job on TG, compared to whatever server you play on, is just more fun. Quick example, they give the chaplain a weapon that you could transform into over 30 other weapons. Now, on Goon Station, you have to beg for mercy to get a sword, or go make one yourself that takes literally over a half hour. But the chaplain gets a sword or weapons from the beginning. It's amazing. But today's tutorial, we're going to discuss the janitor. The janitor is a great job to pick if you're new at the game. It will help you learn how to use your hands, learn the TG system of the combat mode and non-combat mode, and how you right-click, left-click, and it's very intuitive. There's no intentions. And I'll walk you through it. The whole idea of a janitor and your role on the station is to keep the station clean. But there's reasons why or why not you'd want to do that. It's not just as simple as aesthetically pleasing. Your job affects people's psyche and mental state directly. If you examine yourself and on the right side of TG you have a little face icon, this is your mental state. The more dirty the station is, the more covered in blood the station is, or vomit, or mess, subconsciously affects the other crew and their psychological state. Sometimes a crew member might pick a quirk or a, a perk, basically, that makes it very easy for them to spiral out of mental control. This would be directly related to the trash on the ship or just their state of being. You not cleaning the station might send someone into a depression or psychological breakdown. And that's pretty funny if you ask me. <laughs> your job has some value to it. Your office is your home away from home on the station. The hardest thing to find on some maps will be your custodian office. Luckily, there is a navigation button on TG that has different points of interest in relation to where you are. Sometimes, though, for example, on Tram Station, depending on where you are, you will not be able to access the Custodian Closet navigation. But luckily, you can ask people. It's a good way to talk to people in RP and to find your custodial office. Now we're going to discuss the gear and things that you'll want to use, and also things that other people covet and want to use. Arguably the most valuable item in your office and the janitor has access to would be your galoshes. These galoshes prevent you from slipping on water, ice, oil, and other slippery substances, except space lube. Space Lube will still make you slip because it is an extremely powerful substance. Other things of note on here would be your Janny Belt. You can equip different janitor items on this, alleviating space in your backpack. Your Push Broom is extremely important, not just for pushing trash down the hallways, but you can grab the Push Broom with both hands giving you a lot more strength when wielding it. And this push broom is almost as powerful as a spear. When you hit people with it, when you defend yourself, or even breaking through windows, this push broom, when you double grip it, is very powerful. You have paint remover on this list which will help with graffiti artists. You have a fly swatter, which does extra damage to moths or fly species if you have fly people on your map or server. It also kills bees extremely quick. You have your wet floor sign and your holographic sign projector. This is your insurance policy. When people walk through the hallway and slip on you cleaning up, 
you just point to the floor sign and that does all the talking. I personally don't use these because I find it extremely funny and personally comedical when people are slipping and falling all around me. You have your light replacer which you fill with glass or other light bulbs and you're able to replace lights around the station instantly. It's very easy. You click on the broken light, it swaps it out. For every four broken lights you acquire, it replaces that with a new light bulb in the machine. Kind of like a recycling device. You have your soap. Soap is used to slip people. If they are standing on it and walk off of it or walk over it, they will slip. But really it's used for a 300 use item of instant cleaning. You can clean up stains with this, different spills, pretty much anything, but you have 300 uses. I personally have never used a full bar of soap on a round. You have your trash bags. You use this to pick up small to medium objects on the ground and you fill up a trash bag to dispose of it. Your plunger. This is used for plumbing issues. I personally am not that experienced with plumbing. I'm more of the atmospherics and engineering gas plumbing kind of guy than liquid plumbing. I'm a great chemist in this game, but I have not played with the chemistry machines yet. But when we do, when I make a chemistry tutorial with the machines, this plunger might come back into play. The wire brush is used to clean up rust around the station. Rust mainly, from my knowledge, is going to be produced by cultists. That's the most egregious form of rust making you'll find. From my knowledge, again, I might not know it all, but if you are walking through the station and you see huge patches of rust, you can clean them up with the wire brush and you can also assume that you have a cultist, I guess. Other than that, everything else is up to your discretion. The winter jacket would be used to regulate temperature when going out in space, going out in the ice world on Icebox Station. Your bucket would be used to fill up your janitor cart or to use the bucket to put your mop into. You can, depending on how you're using the bucket, you can right click or left click to fill the bucket up. But if you're in combat mode and you right click, you will empty the bucket on wherever you're clicking. Useful to dump some water on someone to wash them off or for more shenanigans we'll talk about later. Just know that people are going to want to break into your office to get the galoshes the most. Gray tiders, clowns, people that don't want to slip, your galoshes are valuable. You can make money by selling them if you have a reasonable customer. Offer to sell them galoshes for 50 or 100 bucks. Your cart, and I call it the janitor cart, is a spaceman propelled object. You have to pull it or push it around the station. It holds liquid for your broom. It can hold a trash bag and also a sign. So this is really important to bring around with you, but stash it at places. If you leave it out in the hallway, people will push it by accident. So kind of store it somewhere as like a mobile equipment wagon. And then you have your Jenny cart or Jenny ride, as I call it. This is like your vehicle. You have keys for it. You put the keys in it, then you're able to drive it. Make sure you take the keys out of it. You hold shift and left click to examine any object in the game. And that'll tell you how to remove the keys from the car. We'll just call it the Janny car. This thing can be upgraded to be almost as good as janitor cyborgs. Janitor robots are innately better than you at your job. They can just walk and clean as they're walking or driving. But your car here, your janitor cart that's mobile, that you put the key in, you can upgrade this at an auto lathe, either your department one or the cargo one. Maybe even robotics has the upgrades, I'm not sure. But you have two upgrades for it, one that drives and cleans the floor like the robots and one that vacuums up stuff into trash bags. If you want to use this, use it. I tend not to use this that often. I would much rather befriend a janitor robot and ride him around because then he controls it. It's pretty fun. Make friends with the robots. How to clean properly. You want to use your mop on liquid, either in your bucket, in your cart. Now, this liquid is up to your discretion. You could just use regular water. You could learn a little chemistry and make space cleaner out of water and ammonia. 
Ammonia, I think, is three parts nitrogen to one part fluorine. But guess what? I'm just guessing off the top of my head. This is why this game is great, because you have to take your responsibility and look in the janitor Wikipedia yourself for TG. Because there's way more secrets that are deep inside the wiki than I can cover. You could befriend a chemist, ask a chemist, or make it yourself with ghetto chemistry. Space cleaner. You can also fill this with shenanigan objects. Put milk in it and clean the floor with milk if you want, attracting space ants everywhere. You can even get superheated fry oil from the chef. Fill your mop bucket and clean with fry oil, basically frying anything you clean. Frying tiles, frying the floor or carpets. Pretty funny. This would not be proper cleaning though. You want to right click the mop onto the container to douse it. But again, play around. If it's not right click, it might be left click. This is where you come in. Use the trash bag on things on the ground to pick them up and put it in there. You can also grab the item and put it in the trash bag. If it doesn't fit, it's too big. When the trash bag is full, dump it in a disposal so it makes it to disposals. The end area of disposals has a grinder or some sort of machine that I can't remember the name of at the moment. This is basically a trash compactor and it is safe if people go inside of it unless it is emagged by a trader. Then if people go inside, it's a complete bloody disaster. Now, with all this knowledge so far, you are the mitigator between a clean station, a dirty station, and people breaking down psychologically over this. Maybe the engine room was rude to you. Maybe you're gonna use the engine area in their outside office as where you're gonna dump all your trash, giving them psychological effects. Maybe you want to do a great job and clean everything. That's good. There is a hidden experience system for the janitor. The more you mop and the more cobwebs you clean up adds to a hidden experience score and leveling, making your janitor able to clean faster and faster and more instantaneously. If you are a good janitor, by the end of the round, you will be cleaning up stuff almost instantaneously. There is also upgrades, upgraded tools that science department will research for you. This is a better mop that automatically generates its own water, a better broom, a better XYZ. You'll want to coordinate with science department to get these upgrades and you will make them at your department auto lathe or cargo auto lathe, I think. Best friend is space cleaner, you learn the recipe. But if you want to have fun, your best friend would be Space Lube. Mix Space Lube in your mop bucket and watch people fly around. Very fun. You will have objectives at the beginning of every round when you start in and spawn in, read your objectives. Usually it consists of impossible tasks, like by the end of the round, make sure Med Bay is spotless. Make sure the brig is spotless, or the cafeteria, or the kitchen. These are extremely hard tasks, but also rewarding and fun to achieve. The best high traffic areas are obviously the hallways, outside of the kitchen, the bar, the med bay. Super high traffic, also around the bridge, around the HOP's office, cargo. You'll have a lot of areas that you'll patrol and clean up and do a good job. Now, the fun and shenanigans, ways you can have fun, or even if you're a trader, janitor. What you'll want to do, things and just a couple ideas to get you going. Some of the most fun, substitutes for water and space cleaner is welding fuel. You can go up to any welding fuel station on the ship and dump it into your bucket. Use a bucket to dump it into your janitor cart and you can douse and cover and wash the station in welding fuel. What happens if a light bulb explodes? Maybe a spark will catch that welding fuel on fire. Maybe you want to do a Buddhist protest outside of medbay and you are going to demonstrate the power of welding fuel as a cleaner to your fellow spacemen. Well, this is how you do it. But really, at the end of the day, once you understand the science and mechanics behind your job, you can use any liquid to clean, have fun with this. Also, high end game things to do would be to manufacture your own space cleaner grenades, either from complete scratch, learning how to make foaming agent, cleaning agent and mixing different batches to see how you can get the biggest and best space cleaning grenade 
Or you might want to mix it with something that will dissolve trash and you put acids inside this space cleaning grenade that melts everything it comes into contact with. Really, the creativity is endless and it's up to you to come up with new janitor cleaning methods. Also in the Wikipedia, there is end game janitor recipes. If you spawn with the quirk family heirloom, there is a one in three chance you will spawn as a janitor with a janitorial custodial poem that will teach you how to make Omega soap. This Omega soap is basically cheat mode for the janitor and will clean anything instantaneously. There is also two or three other top secret endgame recipes for better space cleaners, better this and that. One of them also involves making a homemade flamethrower that the custodial arts department has codenamed the Tempest. You will fill this flamethrower not with anything hazardous, but with water vapor, either cold water vapor or extremely hot water vapor or just normal water vapor. You will pressurize this flamethrower and basically now you have a high powered water hose to spray and clean up everything on the station. You can also use the backpack tank and fill that with whatever liquid you want to spray around. The downside of this is you won't have a backpack anymore, but you can literally fill this tank with anything and it's very fun to play around with. By the end of this now, you should be a master janitor going around the station, exploring the nooks and crannies, finding your own personal favorite areas to hang around in, and maybe even maybe discovering rare maintenance treasures to add to your collection in your janitor office. Let me know what you think of this guide down below. Comment. I read all the comments. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps out this video tremendously because we all know YouTube is completely trash and broken these days. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more awesome video game content and Space Station 13 guides for TG Station. The next guide will be probably the Curator or the Chaplain. We're basically doing all newbie roles first and then more advanced stuff later. Thank you for watching.